What's up? <laughs> hey, guess what? I want to let y'all know some people. If y'all can hear me, light up right quick, cause you know I put my phone down after this, right? Let me let me get right right quick. <laughs> Let's get right. Hold on. What's up? What's up, everybody? Come on in. Come on in. That's right. Come on in. So, look, check this out, y'all. Now, look, how y'all day doing? Is it blessed? Hmm? Because I'm just at work. I'm just at work minding my motherfucking business. You know? Hey, so, look, you know, <clears throat> it seems like people are, I, I'm, people are, are in this culture right now trying to diss me for telling y'all it wasn't no more money. Hmm. How y'all going to diss me for y'all not having no more money, man? See, here's the thing, bro. In this culture, people, they jump on whatever dick they can, and then they sit there for a long time, man. These niggas have no moral standing on anything on the planet. That's the exact reason why there is no money, three. Mm. There's no motherfucking money. Why? It has never been a drought of money when we're on stage. It's never a drought when we're on stage. When, when is it a drought? I'm sorry. I've been here the whole time. It's never been a shortage of money. Mm -mm. It's never. I've been here since 2009, people. Right. I've never heard Smack say ain't no money coming back, man. Like so. So my, my question is simple. Like, how do y'all feel? Do y'all feel dumb for like always praising people and always jumping on the dick of these niggas? And all you loyal niggas that take on arguments and disagreements for them. And that man just said it ain't no big money come. All you niggas that tattoo that shit on your body and call and laugh at anything Beasley let you do. Y'all, that makes y'all feel, y'all don't feel terrible. Why is it so quiet? You are real rappers, quiet as a motherfucker. You notice that? Them niggas be talking a lot of shit. You are real rappers, quiet as a motherfucking church mouse today, ain't they? I told y'all what happens when everybody walks. I gave y'all the information two months ago that I was privy to. I said, what happens when everybody walks? What happens if these niggas walk? Everything you did meant nothing. All the loyalty you gave meant nothing. And now you burn your bridges with everybody else over these niggas and they walking off in the sunset. Ain't no more. And it's good that people are understanding, man, when somebody, look, y'all be listening to niggas that pick up spaces and say anything, ain't even getting paid, man. Niggas ain't even getting paid, man. Y'all come in on the arms of other niggas, man. Y'all ain't even getting paid. You don't know the system. But y'all will argue for the company. The company ain't arguing for you funky ass niggas. Battle rap over. Shit, what you mean? All that dick pulling that y'all been doing. All that name calling. That's why I never take on no niggas' wars. You don't run the building. Now it's a frenzy because everybody know it's done. Ain't no kumbaya with me, pussies. Uh, ain't no kumbaya. We're going to keep it up. Ain't no kumbaya. Ain't no, oh, since it's over. You're a damn lie. It was over when you start fucking with me. Nigga. Everybody always so quick to stand with. In life, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Do not jump in the middle of no niggas' wars, man. You never jump in the middle of no niggas' wars because you don't know what the fuck the war is from. It's people that uh, see us going back and forth with these niggas and jump in and say, you need to be quiet because URL made you. What, why are they making it now then? Why is there a shortage of money now? That's never been said. I, I I really enjoyed hearing it too. I did because when when our people are so for money, you niggas will transform into a grown man will transform into a snail for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If somebody says here's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, change to a snail. A grown man will suddenly start to hunch over. And, and and be afraid of salt. I promise you they will. Niggas will do anything for money. Because soon as niggas weigh their money, they raise their skirts up. And now look at y'all in a fucking frenzy. Now look at y'all trying to get a pack. Ain't no packs for you, nigga. 
it's over with, man. Some of us don't have addictions. Like, I ain't no glitter belt, nigga, so I can stretch out a little longer than others, right? I always say it, this is going to stop. It's impossible for it to continue because you guys ain't stars. They, they created a system where you guys thought y'all were seen and you're not, but it backfired because you're really not seen. See, they had the tricking part right on one side. Trick the artist to make the artist think it's popping. Make the artist believe the old artist is not needed. Meanwhile, the old artist is getting paid four times more than you. You won't even question that, right? They try to make you think you're the new everything. We don't want the old guys. Shit, you a motherfucking lie. Nigga, Smack will say fuck every last one of y'all if he can get his top 10 salesmen back in their roster. He'll say fuck every last, at a time like this? Oh, is you crazy? Is you crazy? That's when all that brother shit, nigga, who? That's why I stood on my own shit the whole time, because I know this ain't my house, man. This ain't my house. The man said, ain't no money coming back, man. That's what he said, man. When I told y'all this two months ago, I said, the money is going to run out. It's over with. The money's gone. I, I'm looking right at it. The money is gone, man. But they, they make you niggas keep believing that the money is there. So they make y'all go at us and take your wars on. And then they make you, I told y'all last month in December, they're selling the full catalog and moving on. They don't, they don't have an option. You guys don't weigh nothing in the real stratosphere of the world. They have to sell it. So these are so th this is when we go into who's hot now, three. Who's hot? Because if the new era go makes this company go into bankrupt, and this because this is what you you looking at, right? They're saying there's no more big bags. That has never been said when you had your front runners on, on that stage. That phrase never been said. Not one time. They said that phrase and they was getting the money from caffeine. How does that make y'all feel? Well, it ain't even their own money that's coming out their pocket. It's caffeine money. They that slowed down. You niggas, but, but y'all so quick to kneel to anybody you think got all this power. Money brings demons, people. It does. Money brings war, people. Money brings evil, people. That's why I don't live my life based on money. I never did. Like I could be up or down and I feel the exact same way because it's it's a piece of paper that controls your your entire emotion. It's a piece of paper. It's like Somebody can put a number in your account and you and it, it can alter your mood. That's not real, man. It's not real. That's why I never lived my life on them, on, on them principles of, oh, I'm going to run and go, I need the money. I need the money. I'm not, I'm not that type of nigga. When it comes down to this shit, man, when people telling y'all how this works, you got to listen, man. The money, the money itself. Two months ago, I saw with my own two eyes. I said, the money is gone. It's fucking gone. We all were tricked. Like, it's, it's, it's so much money. The money. You don't want to mess this up because of the money. Think about how many of you niggas have let P gyrate all in your motherfucking face. And it ain't no money out there. So, so just think about all you niggas that got disrespected by P. You did it for nothing, you bitch-ass nigga. It ain't even... You let him disrespect and play with you because the thought of money. I just want to let you know what type of niggas y'all are, man. We don't I, I can't even relate to this. You let a nigga take his nuts out and rub him across your bitch ass skull for the thought of money. And now you find out there is no money. So now you got peas nut juice permanently engraved in your bitch ass skull. nigga. Your head, you let that man talk to you reckless and tell you what you're not going to do and tell you if you do this, it's done and there's no money. there. Y'all don't want to like catch no wreck with him or nothing. Y'all that soft. Like it got to be some nigga that's sitting back right now like, man, P play with me and there ain't no money. All y'all soft like that, man. Come on. This is why y'all ain't shit. Because our era would have been tripping with him. Like somebody would have jumped and said, man, hold on. You told me what, man? And it ain't no money. This is not a hypothesis anymore. This is the first time Smack. Hey, look, Smack don't even do, don't even form that many words like that. He formed them words clear as a bitch, didn't he? Yes, he did. He in mid motherfucking, in mid 
question. Ah, uh, it ain't no more big bags. It's over with. The, it's not recoupable. When you hear a, 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 a company say it's not recoupable and look you dead in the face, he's saying y'all bring nothing to the table. That's the sickest part. This whole time you thought you were something. You thought you were talented. You thought you were a main eventer. You motherfuckers thought you were anything in the space of earth. But that's the brilliant part of what they did. They made you niggas dumber. Swamp this entire time has blamed me, y'all. He said it was my fault. Three lettermen. I got to send this to three when I get my phone. Three lettermen said to me it's my fault. But nobody said there's no money. So that you can lie to Swamp and say, hey, Swamp, I tried to talk to that nigga Swamp, man. He rejected it. Ace Amin wrote a love note to that nigga, man. Ace Amin, you need to be, how you feel you wrote that, that motherfucker, I'm sending you a four-page letter. You did that on Summer Madness, nigga. You did the whole little, you, nigga, you, nigga, you sang four-page letter and did rock the boat dance up there for that nigga. There ain't no fucking money up there, nigga. You did all that? And when I write him, he better send it on time. Nigga ain't got no money, nigga. Nigga finesse you with fools, go. That's like a nigga that, that go rent a Corvette and pull up on a bitch like, skirt, what's up? And you fuck, and you find out he got to take this motherfucker back Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shotgun, all that love you showed them niggas don't mean shit, nigga. Look, all that love. They'll tell y'all I'm hard to deal with. I'm whatever was available, I'm trying to squeeze it. Cause I know for a fact it's like, man, this is gonna die, bro. It's it's no way possible this is this is gonna keep going. Because I actually did it. And I actually beat it first. And I did it on the hardest settings because y'all don't like me. That's 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 the sick part, but you do like me because everybody comes. Nobody's coming to watch the new guys. The new guys have no traction. Hey, somebody tell three letterman, tag three letterman if he ain't here. Hey man. The new guys don't have any bitch ass traction. Them niggas don't got no track because the 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 company that y'all all want to be a part of all look every nigga that got new URL in your profile take that shit down nigga you embarrassing take that monkey shit off you embarrassing us monkey shit off your motherfucking page nigga ain't no money here nigga just say you are in an internship no nigga you in an apprenticeship program nigga. All y'all niggas is in an apprenticeship program out there. You know what an apprenticeship program is? Nigga, Daniel son. Study right here, Daniel son. Ah! <laughs> Study right here, Daniel. <laughs> That's all y'all is, nigga. Nothing. Little, little charity working niggas, man. And all this time, everybody walking around thinking that their favorite guy's hot. But he's hot. But he's good. It ain't six people coming to see this nigga. Man, they're not bringing any traffic to that app, which means they're losing money. Along with every other thing that's going on in the world, lawsuits, back to back, all this type of shit like that, man, the money's gone. I said this months ago, man. That is the first time Smack has ever said, oh, I'm going to do the best I can. When as a number one, you ever seen LeBron get on camera and say, well, this season, I, I, if the, the game has changed, but I'm going to do the best I can. Nigga, er, nigga, everybody in the gym would have started throwing shit at him. Smack has been dominant all seasons, and then he get here and say, I'm, it, it, it was changed. The game changed? How? It's still book two rappers, put them on planes, three rounds of rap. What changed? The stupid niggas y'all picked? Y'all niggas let P treat y'all. P was like Suge Knight over you soft-ass rappers. He was like Suge Knight talking to y'all crazy, and it's no money there, man. So y'all getting y'all letting Suge Knight talk to y'all crazy, and he ain't got a record deal no more. Y'all, y'all, y'all clap for the new blogger niggas, the new spaces niggas, and and listen to it. Well, why they can't get it popping? Why ain't nobody getting no money? Why why the culture don't continue? This the first time the culture don't continue. This the first time. Who fault is that? That's what we waiting on, because if we the old niggas, what, what, what's the problem? So who fault is it? I, I would like to know. Let me look at my phone. I would like to know who fault this is. Who fault is it? I, I would 100% like to know who fault is, because let's, let's break it down. You can't blame the legends, because y'all would say, 
the legends ask for too much money. There is none. Got to remove the legends, okay? Um, the new guys, they don't talk. Their personalities are like cactuses. We don't know where the fuck they're from. We don't know their stories. No one comes to see you. They don't throw events at your fucking building, in your home. Nothing about you guys. And you th- and Beasley, you thought that these guys was going to sustain and carry the URL future. Like when, when, when Smack at the last event, he met that virgin for the first time. And he'd have been in. That was his first time meeting that nigga, man. He said, that was my first time meeting you. How many times you rapped there? Fuck is you talking about, man? But y'all would think. They tricked y'all niggas to make y'all think that y'all was real humans, bro. That's that's that is that's like unheard of, bro. It's unheard of. Wait a minute. All three of you there? Man, this motherfucker request line. Hold on, let me bring hey, everybody here. I'm gonna bring three up and then I'm gonna bring everybody else one on one so we can have clear. I don't want nobody to be bumping their heads. Let's let's get right because we're talking about a sensitive subject, and some of y'all don't want to mix yourself. Oh, oh, there too. What's up? Oh, hold on. Hey, um, some of y'all wanna don't want to mix yourself up in these conversations for real. That's why I don't even like when I talk like this. I really don't even like y'all. Notice how three get away from this shit, like because when I do this, it's like some things is like nah. I I just hang out the window and do this myself because I don't even want y'all. I mean, it ain't like nothing can happen. Easy walked away from these niggas and he wasn't pursued. It wasn't a high speed chase. It wasn't it wasn't a high walk chase for Easy. Fuck is you talking about? You niggas walking around slaves. Easy walked straight out the front door and these niggas didn't skip to go get his ass back or, or, or any repercussions. It was just a bunch of I'm mad. And you niggas still stood behind the gate. Fuck is wrong with y'all niggas. You little dumb, stupid niggas. You took all them headaches. And all that shit for no money, man. And now at the end, y'all are doing this because, look, check this out, guys. By y'all being battle rappers, right? You guys are do- you're, you're following the footsteps of champions to possibly get in the position that they are in, right? Because you're not, no battle rapper comes into the game and decides, hey, I'm going to battle to, to be Swamp. Or I'm going to battle to be an okay level guy, right? Sorry, Swamp, that was too far. I said you was almost top. Almost a top name. Don't push it. Sorry, Swamp. That was that was wrong. I apologize. But everybody that comes in, they all have a dream of getting to the top where they can make money off their raps. The reason most of y'all can't make money off your raps is because you're not a real rapper. I've said this years ago. Like, if if okay, first off, let me tell y'all something. Any league, I can make your league stronger because I can look at them and tell you who they are. It costs money, though. I'm not doing it for no reason. I'm not doing nothing like that for no reason, right? You can't see it because you don't do it. Like, an NBA player cannot spot a professional football player like that. Now, he could just spot one and say he got everything. He could spot an NBA player. Like, I'm an NBA player. I could spot one. I could tell you what's wrong with him, what's not wrong with him. Most times, what most companies do is they you bet with your heart. Like a lot of times people bet and say, I'm going to make the next nigga like this because I don't like this one. Still lose. Okay, I'm going to support this nigga because he ain't cool with these niggas. You still lose. Because you 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 pick with your, your emotion. You cannot pick your front runner guys based on your how you feel. You have to pick them based on what they are and their skill level. What's the best way for you to do that? You have to talk to somebody who's unbiased and done it myself. A hundred percent accurate. I can go to any league on the planet, skim their ground and say, this one and this one need to be up front. Because something, but nothing's wrong with that. It's some things I can't see. Like I, I can't notice certain things. Everybody has an eye for certain things. That's that's a rare gift. Where we go wrong as black people is we challenge the thought. We say, oh, he did it. I can do it. No, that's not. No, it's not. If that's the case, all the rappers, we, we wouldn't be looking at Smack saying there's no money. There's no money because none of y'all was ever viewed to the world. You thought you was. They know that the culture is dumb. They're 100 percent accurate. They couldn't do this to us because our time you had to really be who you was. When the world shifted, they understood they can create a hybrid. The thing is, with you hybrids, because you watched us, 
in your mind, you think you're us now. They put y'all in a whole nother division that they put y'all on an island and it has no humans in it. You just don't know it ain't no humans in it. We walk the real earth. So we say, hey, ain't nobody even watching y'all, man. But y'all believe what the machine tells you, right? Which makes you keep following. You keep coming back and saying, I'm going to keep following because this happened. Nobody is there unless big names is there, man. Because the big names is the only ones that have a real fan base. You guys don't have, how can you be looked at as a star or a name, period, if you have not a fan base? It's, it's, it's utterly impossible for you to carry anything if don't nobody recognize you. Right? Like it's it's 100% impossible. So when y'all say that, I be saying, damn, man, are they really rebelling or are they just like dumb? Nobody's seeing y'all. And it, it's even smarter because y'all have signed these lifelong contracts. Y'all have signed them book reports, right? And you just heard your boss say, the big bag ain't coming back. So what does that mean for the stupid little young nigga that signed that contract for so long? What does that mean? I'm pretty sure if you sign the contract after this easy situation, oh, they definitely clamped your ass this time. They'll let one go to, 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 to get, any, any human will let one go to, to, to knock off 40. Mm -hmm. So think about that, though. You, you've been told a lie this entire time. Everything around you has been a lie. And it's insane. We telling y'all ain't nothing real out here, man. When we find out it ain't no real shit going on, y'all will say otherwise. And we saying, hey, man, this is, these niggas is moving like this, man. We telling y'all because we've been here. This era says, no, nah, I ain't finna listen to y'all. Now nah, y'all just mad. Y'all just upset. Like, what's that stupid authentic nigga said? Oh, Verb just, I'm privy to know Verb. Verb's a little mad at him about some personal things he wanted. I said, man, what the fuck is he talking about, man? I have no idea what the fuck this nigga talk. But they can get in y'all heads that fast. Because y'all are so thirsty. You'll believe your masters. You take a dog off the street and you feed it a piece of bologna, it will follow you to the end of time. One time. Feed that motherfucker one time. That that scraggly motherfucker will walk the ends of the earth with you. That's what y'all are. Little mangy fucking mutts. Ain't even real mutts. You niggas is the toy mutts they sell at Christmas that they you can wind them up in the back and they err, err, like that. That's what y'all are. Y'all are nothing like that. You guys don't remember your raps. No one knows you. We don't know what neighborhoods you come from. There's no stories on you. No stars ever put their arms around y'all niggas. That's why I tell y'all this is the era right now where a small league can actually get on its feet. But the league will not get on its feet if they do not front runner the right guys. The big bird in the sky wing is torn. It's torn. Like it's the motherfuckers flying crooked. Because the biggest bird in the sky never, ever looks up. It never looks up and says, what else is out here, man? You are real been floating through these streets, looking down on everybody, spitting on niggas, stepping on them, blocking them, stabbing them behind the back door. They've been treating this shit like a video game, man. And when you find out is when you find out. Man. Everybody has an intervention point where they wake up and then they say, oh, hell no. It just depends on your situation. Now, all you stupid niggas, they tell you, challenge the bigger names. The bigger names won't fuck with you. The bigger names is going to keep moving. The, 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 the bigger names is going to always keep going. Because we have real names. It ain't nothing we can't go do. Nothing. It ain't, it ain't nothing that we can't. It, there is nothing that we can't go do because we have a real fan base. That's anywhere. Any of us that have already have made their name can go anywhere and pick up money. That's where you go wrong. You don't have a fucking face. For the rest of my life, I'll be 65 and somebody's going to call me Averb and try to offer me some money to do something. That's just what it's going to be because that's what his face says, man. Nobody saw you stupid niggas. Y'all huddle up in these funky ass little groups and clap for niggas that don't have a chance. How can a virgin get to the front of URL, man? How? That doesn't make sense. 
everything that we know has been compromised, man. That shit used to be rough, man. It was rules, man. Everything that we know has now been compromised and played with, man. The rules have completely changed. Because now you can be anybody and get on stage. It don't even matter who you are. It don't matter what type of human you is. If you can rap. What about the bars? What about the bars? Them bars ain't keeping the lights on, nigga. How about that? The bars ain't keeping the fucking lights on. All you good rapping destructive niggas. A destructive nigga is the reason why caffeine backed off. And y'all keep lying to yourself. And the thing is, after that surf situation in Atlanta, they unplugged everything. They did. Niggas. Niggas will destroy, people. Y'all do know that, right? Now, some of y'all are getting y'all body. I, fuck you. What you mean? That's accurate. Go look it up. Go look it up for yourself. This is an era where people, you, you, they don't even want you to tell them the truth. They want you to lie to them and go along with it. Fake shit never beats the real shit in nothing on the planet. Nothing fake ever beats real. Nothing. Like, it's, 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 it's nothing that you can put... You put the authentic next to anything that look like it, it loses, man. Battle rap cannot go forward with, with you niggas because you don't have a uh you don't have a fan base. You don't have any nothing, man. Nothing. It's insanity. You don't have filtered water like this. <laughs> you niggas is nothing. Them people mistreated you, man. Beasley played with you, man. Didn't answer the phone for you for days for nothing, man. For no money, man. How does that make y'all all the, the bloggers that's always so quick to jump on a nigga's dick or say he's good? How does that make you feel? His good ass ain't keeping the lights on. Oh, we love chess. He ain't keeping the lights on. The first year Verb didn't battle on URL, that January smack said the money has changed and it's unrecoupable. The big bag is gone. Why is it gone? Shit, I, if you got some, any kind of money, you lose some money, it shouldn't be no problem, right? Y'all niggas always quick to praise whatever nigga tells you to praise him. You'll stand against your own people because you don't like what he's saying. Just to impress these Y'all niggas have turned tricks and opened your legs and popped that pussy for some niggas because you think they finna take care of you. And they telling you ain't no money now. When does the biggest name go on camera and say there's no money? Uh-oh. I tell you this, if you have a battle, you might want to pay me to book it, I mean to promote it ahead of time because the lane is wide open now. The smaller leagues can not make more money now. But they got to listen, though. You got to get with somebody that knows. And you got to you see information costs money. That's what it does. And because in this game and in this game of life, you can't give a nigga nothing. Absolutely not. Uh-uh, you're still a nigga. And that's the way they treated us. We the, we the niggas that make the money and we telling y'all something was wrong. You filthy nothing niggas was telling us we lying. And now all y'all niggas walking around stressed. Cause what? Cause, cause now what happened? They told you you was gonna be the next nigga. You the next nothing. They told you we gonna make you a star and get you these battles, and you'll never get them. But y'all don't. Y'all so quick to stand against me or the rappers, and I don't be lying to y'all. Your company has lied to you the whole time, the entire time. But y'all still ride. That's why niggas, they still a ride with the with the with the people that's doing wrong because they got money. A nigga will compromise his into, his entire integrity for money. But you niggas will do it for the thought of money. That's what hoes do. A nigga can put that shit on and give you the whole image of he rich. Some duck will believe it, man. That's what a bitch does. Man. A bitch does that, man. Y'all see all little events going on and y'all tell, oh, they're busy. They're throwing 90 events selling that shit. What's the other option? 
They're throwing 90 events. Who knows these niggas? Content, nigga. Just content. The app has to have content, regardless of what it is, if it's good, bad, or indifferent. It's got to have content, man. Y'all don't know how this works, right? Of course you don't. Stupid nothing. Of course you don't know how it works. Why would you know how it works? You ain't been here. You ain't never got no money with the niggas. You, you have no experiences. You just hop in and want to be something. That's what niggas do. They hop in and play follow the, the leader. It's some niggas still rubbing their stomachs for their baby daddy right now. Some of y'all niggas is rubbing y'all stomach like, no, he going to be there. Uh, baby, I know it hurt, but uh, no. Nah. And, and, and we roll with these niggas. Y'all don't understand. We roll with them niggas nine years. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Caffeine came in 20. <laughs> we roll with these niggas 11 years before some big money came, bro. 11 years, man. That money that they got was predicated on us before because the scores were saying so. That's how they got the money. If y'all was hot, there would be another deal. They had, when you go get a deal, people, they're going to ask you to show your numbers, right? Because of us, they were able to get this whopping millions and millions from caffeine. They, because the, our numbers that we did, the entertainment, the packing the events, those things led us to the money for y'all. The money, the money stayed here three years and they said, not you niggas. Because the infrastructure was, I mean, let's URL, if I'm guessing, this is what I would think. Okay, why do we got to constantly pay our big guys when we can just pay them every now and then and try to build some new niggas? It's a smart plan. But what goes wrong is them new niggas got to be special and y'all can't pick them. Why do y'all think we say yeah to these niggas so fast? Because we know they ain't ready. Mm -hmm. We know they don't know shit. We know they're going to play with the machine and we know ain't nobody watching them. That's the one thing that's the truth. You don't never see too many top names saying no to these low level niggas. Yeah, come on. Ain't nobody watching it anyway. And he don't know shit. It's a go, man. For sure. Let's do it. That's why. But a lot of times people think that we just making shit up or or or, or, or this is some angry shit, like a nigga needs something. No. In today's time, they need their, their first line, guys. What saves them and get they, if they had two years with their first line of guys, currently, they will make their money back. But that will be utterly impossible because you got to pay these niggas because now we know what y'all did last summer. So you broke bread with them hoes. You broke bread with these nothing-ass niggas, these okay niggas. Take some money off the top. So, so take money from us and that kind of shit, right? All that. But it's just karma, man. It's just the score evening up. That's it. Like, I, I didn't know that this... I didn't find out all this shit to 2023, y'all. Like, all of this? No. I knew some things, but I ain't know all this. Now what y'all do? You don't have a personality. You was waiting on a call to get rap. To, to, to rap. You got to go back in the real world now. These strange look at, looking at girls that's groupies here, they won't talk to you now. Why? You got to go back in the real world and be a person again, Jamal. Hmm? Hey, Jamal. It's a cart shortage, motherfucker. Doesn't matter if it's raining. Go get them. Aren't you on carts, nigga? Yeah, Jamal. Go get them. Go fetch them fucking carts, nigga. You need to you you, you should have stayed good with your manager, nigga. You thought you was going to be a star. You ain't no star. How the fuck you going to be a star and you loyal to one place? It ain't no stars in this game and loyal to just the one place outside of Sue Surf. Sue Surf is the only person that stayed there the whole time. Just one person. Everybody else is planted their seeds everywhere and you niggas thought that the formula was going to change for what? They stopped y'all from being stars off the jump when they told you you couldn't go spread your seed. All of us, all of the best niggas in the world have battles everywhere, man, on different spots. That's how you cover the board. You'll never be seen staying in one corner. How? You stupid wiggle finger rappers? Y'all wiggle y'all fingers. There's no skill. Bunch of violent Yu-Gi-Oh card rappers, man. No substance, screaming, wiggling your fingers, man. Everybody don't want to see that shit. 
And where they went wrong is they made 26 of these niggas, man. That that whole run, this DMV P scouting run is what terminated battle rap. It put a virus through the streets. Like we've never seen the time where it was infected with the same sound of rapper. P kept pushing them niggas through. Send them through. Send them through. That is chlamydia spreading through the streets, man. It it, it fucked everything up. You got no individuality. You got no 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 over the line talent. Nobody's daring to be great because everybody wants to be safe. Every nobody's daring to say and do things and rap patterns that no one's doing. Everybody wants to be safe and accepted here. This is a rejected boys home, man. This is for the rejected now. This used to be for the cool. Like it's it's the same theory as okay. We used to praise the dope boy, but now it's the dope thing they like. You know what I'm saying? It's it's everything has changed. But that this new era guy doesn't bring in any money. And the only reason why he doesn't bring in money, because y'all never was in. You you thought when you picked up Twitter that you mattered. No, you're wrong. You're nothing. That's what you thought. Because people tweet you and everybody calls you bro. Everybody calls each other to go. Everybody, how? How, robots? Now look at y'all, little fucking G.I. Joes and little little Transformers all over the goddamn floor getting stepped on. Little toy chest niggas. That's all y'all are. And a bunch of goddamn toy chests. Somebody flipped the toy chest over and just start stepping on all the toys in the room. You're nothing. The humans, the toys in the toy chest will never have power over the humans. Man. You guys are not real humans. You don't do anything cool. I don't never see y'all with no badass bitches, man. Y'all don't even have good weed. Like, it's hard to go to a rapper and say, hey, do you have some good weed? You don't have anything good. You have everything bad, man. Bad choice of women. Bad choice of hotels. Bad weed. Nothing's good with you guys, man. Yet you think that you're a power player in a culture that you don't even exist in. The culture is only nine or ten rappers, man. Like, I don't know why y'all see it any other way. We could run them off, but that'd be kind of a waste of time. I would say. I mean, so you can you can run off the nine guys that really matter here. It's not more than that. I'm sorry to tell you. But then you have five guys that are over the line that will that attract more attention than most. But you only got about nine guys, man. But y'all try to praise the other 290 of these niggas. And now look at you. You have no, you're not cool anymore, sis. You're not cool anymore. Now you got to take off that scraggly weed. You got to get a good weed now because you're back in the real world. See, in this cyber-ass world, these niggas will lick the screen when they see a woman, which is stroke your ego. Oh, we getting out of Alice in Wonderland, people. I know. It hurts. But this is a part of life, man. Karma. That's all it is. They'll be back. They'll be fine. I'm sure, like, but Beasley, brother Beasley, you should pray, though. Beasley, would you like to pray with me, brother? Because I would like to pray for you because your karma and your sins, brother, I don't think that you should be in a good place. You should be praying, sir. For real, man. Y'all, Y'all have done a lot, man. And now the tables are just starting to turn, and it started to turn in the Michael Jordan year. Damn. That's insane, man. 23. That's crazy. Like, you know what else represents 23? 23 is a number that's in all our head that is so powerful. Like, it is. Like, because everybody wants to be number 23. Everybody does. It's kind of brilliant. Because 23 was a cool nigga, man. That 23 wasn't cool for y'all, man. It wasn't cool, but the whole time. Sorry. We worked like slaves, and you knew, nigga, and the money came there. And then the money got taken in three years, man. That's insane. You niggas couldn't even keep money coming three years. And Caffeine said, we ain't putting another dollar in that shit. Fuck no. 
Because caffeine don't know who is who. They only listening to these niggas. These niggas are telling them that they friends is who is the guys. That's what they doing. These niggas are telling the company of caffeine, our friends and the people that kneel to us, these are the front runners. That's not accurate, man. That's not accurate. So this whole time, they're giving their money to their front runners, man. They're, 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 they're blessing their people with the opportunities. They're putting their people working at caffeine, getting extra money because they're telling caffeine these are the guys and those weren't the guys at all. I guarantee you, if you kept it where we were the guys, the money would be quadruple because we're the only ones that people come and see in real life. Somebody call me the fuck y'all call me. Yeah, like, but in real life, man, this is, this is, we the only people that they really want to see. So when y'all think about all this shit that y'all doing and like, following and kneeling to some niggas, man. They still niggas, man. They still niggas. And 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 the big bad nigga who all of us grew up watching has said it, the big bag ain't coming back, man. He said it's unrecoupable. Look at his face. You think he likes losing money fucking with y'all, man? See, all the shit fun and games until too much money start getting lost. They'll take an L on two small events, then have verb on some. We know it's going to cover it. It's no big thing. It's all fun and games, but now you're dropping too much money. You have no engagements. No one's going to take their money and come watch you on the app. Nobody.